Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I will be showing you how to make a simple hourglass in Blender for today's Blender tutorial. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's just get into it. So after removing the default cube, you can add a circle and go into the properties panel. Personally, I changed it to a radius of two, but it doesn't really matter. Then you can go into edit mode and fill and then you can inset it with I and extrude it upward and kind of just create a few little stepping stones. So continue that a few times. Basically, just keep doing that until you feel like it's a decent base and you want to use that to work with the rest of it. Now we can add a UV sphere, but be sure to go into edit mode to scale it downward to one of the sides of the base. But do make sure that you are in edit mode, otherwise what we will do in a little bit will not work. Then you can select the top of the sphere and delete it. You can then select the vertexes surrounding the hole and extrude it upward and scale it outward and then extrude it upward again and scale it inward to create a kind of cool shape that actually works very well as a decent detail. You can also add another cool shape by connecting the ball higher up on the pole by selecting the ball that's at the very bottom that we're using as the base and f rotating it 90 degrees and aligning it and scaling it so that it fits almost perfectly and you can connect it by either merging vertices or by bridging edge loops to create a full new connection point. Personally, I just used half of the sphere and put it at the halfway point so that I could use the mirror modifier and mirror it upward. And now that we have our poll completely done, we need to make sure that our poll object's origin is, is at the world origin. If not, we can set it there. But otherwise, we could select the entire poll and use the spin tool to spin it 360 degrees, and then we have three, creating a very simple way to position our poles. Then we need to make sure the base is how we want it. Then we can duplicate the base and move it upward and rotate it so that it is opposite of how the original base is, which then creates the pole and the hourglass base, creating a cool, simple hourglass effect. Now all we need is the glass piece that will be in the middle. Personally, I just went into edit mode on the ba top base and selected the circle and inserted it and then duplicated it and separated it from the selection. Once I did that, I went into edit mode on that object, the new object, and extruded it downward and kind of just shaped it how I wanted. And then I used the mirror modifier to mirror it to the other side. I also applied a subdivision surface modifier so that it was smoother. So there we have it. We now have our so yeah, there we have it. We now have the modeling part done. All we need to do is the shading, which I am going to show you, just show you and not show you how it was made, mainly because I made a lot of mistakes and I don't really think it would be beneficial to actually watch that. So here is the shaders that I was using. So I had a basic wood texture and that I used for the base. I then used the simple wood texture again, but just changed the gamma and changed some settings to make it a little more shiny and make it a little better as a pole, but instead of it imagining it as wood, I am imagining it more as a black granite type texture. Then for the glass, I added a texture and I think it looked actually quite nice. So that was basically it with the textures and now actually the entire video. So I hope this helped you make an hourglass and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks for watching and I really appreciate it. Bye.